What's up, guys? Rogue Budget here with Unashamed Gaming. Today, going to be bringing you a TDM again. Uh, this time on whatever the heck this map is. I don't remember what it's called. Um, actually, I think I recently uploaded a video on this map. If that is the case, I do apologize. Um, I often play well on this map, regardless of the fact that I don't like it as a map. Um, it's one of my least favorites, actually. But I, I often do play well here. Um, so... What I want to talk about today is my least favorite thing in Call of Duty, Black Ops 3. And to do that, I'm going to have to go back, and I'm going to have to talk about Advanced Warfare for a few minutes. Now, as most of you probably know, Advanced Warfare was the first game to introduce, introduce thrust jumping or uh, exo movements into Call of Duty, something very unnatural to Call of Duty, and it felt unnatural in Advanced Warfare. It didn't feel fluid. It didn't feel like part of the game. Um, they were the movements in Advanced Warfare were very fast, very sudden movements, and the boost was way too high. Um, and that was my least favorite thing about Advanced Warfare. I think Advanced Warfare had the elements of being a good game were it not for the Exos. Um, I didn't really play the, the playlists that didn't have Exos because without Exos, those maps were huge on Advanced Warfare and hard to navigate because the maps were all designed for Exo movements. So I didn't play a lot of the, the no Exo map um, playlists, but... I do think Advanced Warfare would have been a much better game were it not for Exos. Now, I the reason I'm talking about this is because it led way into Black Ops 3. Now, Black Ops 3 did regress a little bit back towards the feel of classic Call of Duty that we know and love. It didn't. It got rid of Exo movements, as it were, and just added in boost sliding and um, thrust jumping and wall running. And uh, these movements were much slower. The, the thrusters are much slower than they were in Advanced Warfare. If anybody's watching this that didn't play Advanced Warfare, they're probably half as fast as the, one in, the ones in Advanced Warfare. And you also don't go as high. Now, I'm really not... I'm really okay with with the movements as far as the jumping goes in this game. I don't hate it. I would prefer it wasn't there, but as far as thrust jumping goes, I don't mind it um, as being... It still feels like Call of Duty even with that in, whereas Advanced Warfare didn't feel like Call of Duty. But what I have a problem with and what takes the cake for my least favorite thing in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is wall running. There's so many problems and so many things with wall running that I don't like. Um, it really just takes the cake. Now, to me, wall running is 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 kind of broken. I wish there was an option. I've, I think I've talked about this before. I wish there was an option to kind of like Advanced Warfare had turn auto mantle on or off. I wish there was an option to turn auto wall run on and off because I find myself jumping or going near walls sometimes, and I just automatically start wall running on them without wanting to. And that's the most frustrating thing in the world because it messes up my flow, it messes up my movements, it messes up what I wanted to do. And that's not even the worst part to me of wall running. As I said before, the thrust jumping in Black Ops 3 does not put you as high in the air as the, the boosting in Advanced Warfare did. However, that being said, in Black Ops 3, when you wall run, you can use that to recover your boost and to go higher still. And there's some places on some maps where you can get ridiculously high in the air off of wall runs. You can get, probably on every map in this game, you can get higher in the air off of a wall run than you ever could in Advanced Warfare. And that's that's ridiculous to me. Because there's, there's times when you can come around a corner and there's a possibility that somebody's just going to be in the air like 100 feet over your head. To me, that is that's dumb. That is not Call of Duty. And, I mean, Treyarch has been praised for these maps that are so three-laned and unidirectional, but when you have people that can get that high in the air, they're not they're not as unidirectional anymore. They're more of, you know, I don't know, they're, they're more like the Advanced Warfare maps that had so many different levels that you had to look in the sky, look in the bottom, everywhere. And with this wall running... That's what it becomes, is you have to look in the sky. Who knows how high they could be coming from? And by the time they hit the ground, they've recovered enough thrust to keep from dying. Um, Fringe is an especially bad map for this on the, the warehouse of the train. If you think 
There's a place there by the box, the wood box, where you can wall run all the way up, and you're just crazy high in the air. And I don't think you should have to look for that in Call of Duty. It's not because, you know, I'm not skilled enough to look for it, or because I don't, I don't know. It just, it's not Call of Duty to have to look that high up in the air. Um, so wall running for me is my least favorite thing in Black Ops 3. It's a neat idea. It really is. It's cool. It adds an interesting element to the game, but it's not Call of Duty. It's not what I want when I play Call of Duty. I, I, I don't know. To me, every time a company introduces a new element as drastic as Exos or wall running, those being my primary two examples, it, it's a flop. It's, it's not Call of Duty. I keep saying that. You keep using that phrase, but it's just not. And it's not fun to to deal with wall runs in this way that I've explained it. Um, to me, anyway. So I'm hoping the next game regresses even further to boots on the ground, as there have been some rumors. There have been some rumors both directions. We really won't know until E3 when we get the multiplayer reveal, um, which is, I think, next month. But I, I'm just hoping it goes completely boots on the ground. I'm okay with sliding like Ghost had. I'm okay with dolphin diving, but that's pretty much the extent of it. Um... You know, after Ghost, looking back on the last two Call of Duty's, Ghost wasn't the worst game. It had its flaws. Um, but to me, Infinity Ward has never made a truly terrible game. Modern Warfare 3 is probably their worst. But those are my opinions, guys. So I'm looking forward to the next one. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite or least favorite thing is in Black Ops 3. Uh, I'll be interested to hear your opinion, see if you agree or disagree with what I was saying. But let me know in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, guys. And as always, I'll see you next time. God bless.